What's up, good goodness? This is Froggy 2 k and I'm doing this commentary for you early in the morning. It's not really a commentary, it's a tutorial. Anyway, this tutorial is on doing live commentaries and how to do it. So, you're going to need several things to do a live commentary. Part, um, one of those things, you're going to need your Xbox 360, or your PS3, any console like that. You're going to need a recording device, such as a HD PVR or a Dazzle. You're going to need your video cables. You're going to need a computer of some sort that has a jack like this. So you have your microphone in, and your, sorry, yeah, you have your microphone in, and you have your headset right here, and then a USB, USB one's optional, I believe, you're going to need, your, now this is, not, this is another optional one, you're going to need a headset, again optional, and you're going to need an external microphone. Doesn't matter what one it is, this particular one I bought specifically for commentaries. It's uh, used in some radio studios or something like that, like I said, so it's a it's quite a quite a new mic, quite a new model. And yeah, that's what you're gonna need. So, how to set these up, you ask? Well, what you do is you have your Xbox power plugged in and all that, just set up your Xbox as normal, but take the video cable and plug them into the back of your HD PVR. Okay, so that's what you do, but you leave your audio cables out. Now what you do is you take your cable from your headset, so down here, in the cable splitter. Sorry, this is how to see it's done on a phone, because I, I broke my camera by sitting on it, so there's the, uh, I hope you can see that, I really do hope you can see that. I will update this tutorial with a camera when I get one. Uh, there's the audio splitter, or the cable splitter, to split it off into the microphone. And, again, the headset, the audio in, out. Now, I use the audio out for um, whenever I'm using it at night. So I don't bother the rest of the house. So I, I listen to my computer using the headset. But yeah, you're gonna need to plug that in. Into back your HD PVR like I did there, so that the audio coming in from the Xbox is split off to here. The reasons for this is because the HD PVR has a booster and it's fine. The booster works really well. And what it does, is it takes the audio in and it boosts it on the way out. So if you take it split off from the out, from the on the way out line, you're restricting the line, and you'll probably break the signal, and you'll get a less signal from your TV. So if you do listen from your TV, or you do have people listening from your TV, or you do have people listening from your HD VR, it will be a lesser quality. So if you listen to it on the way in, you won't break the signal. So what you want to do is you plug your HD PVR in, plug the USB in, all the way down into your computer, wherever that might be, and that's it, that's the end of that part. Also, you're going to need some computer programs, I've got my Steam up there, just ignore that. You're going to need some computer programs. What programs do you need? Well, you need Audacity, and you need your recording program. Now I'm going to take you over to the computer to show you that part. But you're going to need to plug your external mic in into your computer. Or, now this is the optional part. This one's why you need the headset. If you have your headset plugged in to your audio jack here for the splitter. So if you plug that in,
So just plug that in like that, and then that's plugged into the HDPVR up there from the splitters down here, coming to this jack. So they're now they're now plugged in, and that will now listen to the Xbox 360 on your headset. And you want to take your mic. Now this is something the Turtle Beaches have. You, I don't know if Tritons have this. I don't know any other ones, but the Turtle Beaches, the uh, the X, um, uh, I've got an X11s. I think I have anyway. And any any model above that will have this. And this is a microphone out. A microphone out. So what you want to do is you want to plug this into your microphone in if you've got one. And what this will do is this will allow you to play your voice coming from your headset up there and allow you to play your voice through the computer as well as through your controller or through to your console. This will allow you to talk to friends as well as playing a game. So when you're when you're playing your live com, you can talk as well. But it also means that you can sound whore why you are why you are doing your live commentary. Okay, so what that's what you want to do. So you want to re replace my microphone in. And I had to put on a separate jack for this because this had a very, very advanced jack and my sound card couldn't handle it. If I do decide to update my sound card to hold a better jack, i possibly upgrade this and my sound quality will get even better, but sound cards are pretty damn expensive. Even, even brand new ones, or sorry, even, even older ones, they're pretty damn expensive generally, so um, yeah. Okay, that's what you're going to need, and that's your steps you're going to need to take first of all. So, little little overcap of what we've done. We've plugged the HD PVR in, the Xbox 360 in. We've plugged the Xbox 360 video and audio cables into the HD PVR, excluding your red and white audio cables. We've plugged the HD PVR into the computer, the external mic, or swapping that for your headset mic into your computer. And when we plug the HD PVR into the TV, and yeah, we plug the headset into the HD PVR, and yeah, that's it. That's what we've done. So uh, we're going to be going over to the PC for the next part of this tutorial. is you want to make sure you have your audacity and your recording software so well so now you're going to go into your recording software and i'm going to i'm going to now turn on my xbox so you're going to need to turn on your xbox at this point or your nintendo Wii or your ps3 and you're going to need to turn on your hd pvr so make sure you have those two on now i'm using arcsoft total media so what you want to do is you want to go to any of your recording software and you want to set it up to record as you normally do doesn't matter what way you do record it. So I'm going to let that load up quickly now. Okay, so here we've got our recording software. Now hopefully at some point in time, this flicks over to HD PVR. Come on. There we go. See that? It's, it's now up and running. Here's me. And all my cyber monkey glory. So you want a whole bog HD PVR, you want your video input to be your YPBR, YPB PR. And you want your audio input to be your RCA back. Make sure it's RCA back. Doesn't matter about the rest of it to have all your settings how you like it. And then minimize that and minimize that. You want to start up Audacity. Now, Audacity is the best program for this. I will have a link to it in the description. Audacity is an amazing piece of software. It's completely free. So, what you want to do is you want to set on Audacity. This little piece here is your microphone input. Or it's your input generally. It's just your input. Because you can have it not just your microphone. So, what you want to do is you want to go to this drop down. 
and go to Windows Direct Source and then this will give you primary sound capture derive microphone real tech or doesn't have to be real tech real tech's my one because I have real tech installed or audio real tech what you want to do is you want to go to your microphone there should be a microphone on there it doesn't matter what one is microphone just click on the microphone one and that to give you your microphone so what do you do then well that's that simple you want to hit record okay I'm not gonna do it now because I don't want my computer being filled up with loads of files so you want to hit record make sure you stay nice and quiet after you hit record and you want to minimize that okay so make sure you stay nice and quiet after you hit record and then what you want to do is when you hit capture on this you want to make a movement so say say I was at the home screen here and I wanted to hit record Okay, I would hit record, and then I'd move the monkey to the right, or I'd move my controller to the right, as the same time I push the button. And then I would do it at the same time as that, so you're going to need to multitask here to make this easier on yourself. You're going to need to make some sort of loud noise. Okay? And this will be your starting point on Audacity. So again, you want to hit record, you want to say a loud noise, and you want to make a movement at the same time, all at the same time. Then, when you're done, you come back to Audacity. In fact, I'll tell you what, I will show you how to do this. I will show you. So, hit record and I'm going to stay nice and quiet so you're not going to hear me say anything for a little bit. Bang. Beep. Okay, so th there is. Do one just before, just after, it doesn't really matter where. And that's that's the outcome. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording. And I'm actually going to stop this recording. And I'm now going to go delete all the crap that this created. So... What you want to do is when you sync in this up, what you want to do first of all is you want to go to where you made the second noise. So take it to here. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's where the second noise came in. So what you want to do is this is your second noise. So this is where your recording actually started. So what you want to do is you, turn, you want to take it from there, take it back, and delete the first section. That's what you want to do. So this is where you started recording. This is where you're going to sync from. And what you want to do is you want to take the recording from where you started it on your on your HDPVR back here. You want to take your recording from here, and you want to then sync it with the audio, and then delete the first bit so you don't have that loud noise in the beginning. You go straight into your normal your normal commentary, your normal live commentary. So I hope this has helped. That is how you do it. And um, yeah my capture program just froze so i'll be seeing you later hope this has helped you please rate comment and subscribe all parts will be in the description all programs will be in the description have a nice day sub dude and do that this is froggy 2k9 and now i hope you got the parts in the first part of this tutorial this is section two of the tutorial. So of section two, this is part one. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your Audacity and your recording software. So what? So now you're going to go onto your recording software, and I'm going to I'm going to now turn on my Xbox. So you're going to need to turn on your Xbox at this point, or your Nintendo Wii, or your PS3, and you're going to need to turn on your HD PVR. So make sure you have those two on. Now I'm using ArcSoft Total Media, so what you want to do is you want to go to any of your recording software and you want to set it up to record as you normally do. Doesn't matter what way you do record it. So I'm going to let that load up quickly now. Okay, so here we've got our recording software. Now hopefully at some point in time, this flicks over to HDPVR. Come on.
There we go. See that? It's it's now up and running. Here's me. In all my cyber monkey glory. So you want a whole bulk HD PBR. You want your video input to be your YPBR, YPB PR. And you want your audio input to be your RCA back. Make sure it's RCA back. Doesn't matter about the rest of it to have all your settings how you like it. And then minimize that and minimize that. You want to start up Audacity. Now Audacity is the best program for this. I will have a link to it in the description. Audacity is an amazing piece of software. It's completely free. So what you want to do is you want to set on Audacity this little piece here is your microphone input or it's your input generally it's just your input because you can have it not just your microphone so what you want to do is you want to go, go to this drop down and go to Windows Direct Source and then this will give you primary sound capture derive microphone real tech or doesn't have to be real tech real tech's my one because I have real tech installed or audio real tech what you want to do is you want to go to your microphone. There should be a microphone on there. It doesn't matter what one is microphone. Just click on the microphone one. And that to give you your microphone. So. What do you do then? Well, that's that's simple. You want to hit record. Okay, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want my computer being filled up with loads of files. So you want to hit record. Make sure you stay nice and quiet after you hit record. And you want to minimize that. Okay, so make sure you stay nice and quiet after you hit record. And then what you want to do is when you hit capture on this, you want to make a movement. So, say, say I was at the home screen here, and I wanted to hit record. Okay, I would hit record, and then I'd move the monkey to the right, or I'd move my controller to the right, as the same time I push the button. And then I would do it at the same time as that, so you're going to need to multitask here to make this easier on yourself. You're going to need to make some sort of loud noise. Okay? And this will be your starting point on Audacity. So again, you want to hit record, you want to say a loud noise, and you want to make a movement at the same time. All at the same time. Then, when you're done, you come back to Audacity. In fact, I'll tell you what, I will show you how to do this. I will show you. So, hit record, and I'm going to stay nice and quiet, so you're not going to hear me say anything for a little bit. Bang! Okay, so there it is. Do one just before, just after, it doesn't really matter where. And that's that's the outcome. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording. And I'm actually going to stop this recording. And I'm now going to go delete all the crap that this created. So, what you want to do is when you're syncing this up, what you want to do first of all is you want to go to where you made the second noise. So, take it to here. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's where the second noise came in. So, what you want to do is this is your second noise. So, this is where your recording actually started. So, what you'll do is you, do, you want to take it from there, take it back, and delete the first section. That's what you want to do. So, this is where you started recording. This is where you're going to sync from. And what you want to do is you want to take the recording from where you started it. On your on your HDPVR back here, you want to take your recording from here, and you want to then sync it with the audio, and then delete the first bit so you don't have that loud noise in the beginning. You go straight into your normal your normal commentary, your normal live commentary. So I hope this has helped. That is how you do it, and um, yeah, my capture program just froze. So I'll be seeing you later. Hope this has helped you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. All parts will be in the description. All programs will be in the description. Have a nice day.